Hello everybody again, it's Jan from Goodness in Every Bite. Um, today we are not going to be doing cookies since we're all seem to be stuck in the house. So I'm going to show you how to do my homemade artisan bread. It's very easy to do. Okay, it takes a while to make it, but it's very easy to do. Okay. And don't worry, this is what I look like with no makeup on. So I'm not sick. I'm just don't like wearing makeup. So, okay. Now what I want you to do is to get uh, three cups of sifted flour, one teaspoon of active yeast, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And so what at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing with everything here. Okay. Just bear with me for one second. I need to turn it down. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that won't flip up on you or me, I should say. Okay. So I'm going to add two cups of warm water to this and I'm going to mix it all up. Alright, so there we go. And the consistency that you're going to get from this, I don't know if you can see it or not, is going to be like a pizza dough consistency, but, but a little bit looser. I'll show you when it's when I'm done with this, okay? So you just keep stirring it. And I know that some people don't like to add salt to their the food that they make, but you're going to need to with making bread because it's the salt that actually activates the yeast. So you have to put the salt in, okay? You won't taste it. Won't taste it at all. So if you want a nice fluffy bread, then you're going to need to put that salt in. Okay. And you just keep folding it over. Let me see if I can show you here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Should have used a different color bowl, maybe. So, okay. And there we go. Not sure if you can see it or not. Probably, oh, there we go. That's the consistency that you want. Okay. Now, at this point, you put a cover on it. What I do is I went to the dollar store and I got the, it's a bag of 10 shower caps. Perfect for bowls like this. Just cover it up and you let it sit for either overnight, like I usually do, or a minimum of six hours. That's why it takes a long time to make it, but it is so worth the wait. Okay. And then you put it aside. Now I have one that I had sitting overnight for the video and I will show you what it looks like and this is uh, it's hard to tell there we go okay that's what it looks like so at this point I'm oh, going to move that out of the way I'm going to put some flour on my countertop it's already been sifted and this is a part that's going to be a little bit tricky, but you can do it. Okay, put this over here. And my gelato. Now, what you do, or what I do, is just lean it over, let it spill out. Okay. Just like that. There you go. Put this over here. Now, you want to put some flour on your fingertips. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take it and flip it over on all four sides. Okay? Just like this. Just flip it over. And then you go to the other side. Flip it over. The bottom. Put more on your fingers bottom flip it over and then you take the other side and you flip it over okay then you get your dish 
It can be square, round, whatever. Spray it with Pam, flour it, okay? And then you pick it up. It's, you got to do this quickly because it's very loose. Okay, we go like this. Pick it up on both hands and then very quickly transfer into, <laughs> into your bowl. It's hard to see here. Okay, anyways, you transfer it into your bowl, okay? And if you have a little bubble, a pocket of air, just pop it with your fingers. Now, I'm just going to wipe my hands here. I'm going to put the, the oven at 390. Okay, so let's bake. Three... 90 start okay now what I do with mine is I take my scissors and I put a little snip on the top do a little X that helps the bread in the center to rise up up and out the top and that's what you want okay and that's where you get this little X kind of design going on in your bread. Now, what you can also do is if you want, what I like to do sometimes is sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top and it gives you that nice floury look on it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna flip you back up. Just give me a second. Okay. Once the oven is ready at uh, 390, I put it in and put it at about, I put it at 45 minutes to 50 minutes. I check it then if it's not quite dark enough on the top of the bread, put it in for an extra two, three minutes. Okay, if you like it darker, put it in a little bit, an extra minute or two more. Okay, and so once it's ready, take it out. Take it out of the container, set it on a grate or towel, that's totally up to you, and enjoy it from there. You can have it nice, cut it up while it's still nice and warm, it's so good when it's warm, oh, really good. So anyways, that is how you make this beautiful artisan bread. So if you like this video, click on the like button down below, share, share, share. Subscribe if you haven't. I greatly appreciate it if you would. It helps me out. And we'll see what else I can come up with on the weekend for something else to make to keep you ladies and gentlemen busy throughout this event that's going on worldwide. Okay? So take care. God bless. And remember to always be a blessing and not a burden. So bye for now. Until the next video. Take care.